One thing you might be missing when you switch away from JavaScript to build a pure CSS accordion or other widget is the ability to transition. So for example, on a JavaScript accordion, you'd usually find these slide up and down quite nicely in a smooth fashion. However, um, we don't need JavaScript to do this either. We can do this with CSS transitions. It's very, very straightforward. And the great thing is that if it's not supported on a particular browser, no worries, the user will just see what we can see at the moment. So let's take a look at the code as it stands at the moment. Um, we're going to focus on the accordion content selector and the accordion content selector with the target selector on here. So at the moment, let's just recap over what we've done. We've got a padding of zero and height of zero, just so that these sections here stay um, invisible. And we obviously add the padding back on and we add a height of auto here. Now, in order to do a transition, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to set the height to a specific pixel value. So the transition knows which value to go from and to. So we're basically going from zero to 200. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to provide a height here. So let's just say 150 pixels. This can be anything you need. And obviously, in this case, what's then going to happen is if we, um, I mean, it still works as normal, but if we were to have a little bit of extra text, maybe in the first accordion, so let's add uh, a couple more paragraphs here with a few more bits of lorem ipsum. You can see now that it cuts off, it's, it's cut off here because um, we're defining a specific height for this element. Now, what we can now do is we can do an overflow. Uh, and in fact, we're going to do an overflow on the y-axis, and we're going to choose scroll. So we've already done an overflow hidden on here, which makes sense. But on on the on here, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do an overflow y of scroll, resetting this original overflow. Uh, so this um, this basically allows us to scroll down like that. On my browser here, you can't always see the scroll bars, but if you're working on Windows or Linux, you'll likely see these scroll bars. So this works in exactly the same way, but we're now at the advantage of being able to add a transition to make this look really nice. So this is the exciting part. So I'm going to add my WebKit um, vendor prefix here. So transition, and I'm going to duplicate this down in a minute and do the non prefix version as well. So we have a WebKit transition. We need to choose which property we want to transition on, and that's obviously the height. As it goes from 0 to 150, we want that to uh, transition. We're going to choose the um, amount of time that it takes for the transition to happen. In this case, I'm just going to choose something like uh, 400 milliseconds, and then I'm going to choose the transition type, so we're going to choose Ease. Um, so let's duplicate this down then, and let's get rid of the WebKit vendor prefix, and there we go. So let's take a look at uh, what this looks like. There we go. We've got a nice smooth transition effect. However, you've probably noticed that when I click on another item here, the padding disappears. And that's because the padding's reset automatically uh, due to this selector here. However, because the transition's in place, it's gi giving us a little bit of extra time to see that padding disappear. Can you see that happening there? So what we're going to do is we're going to actually get rid of the padding here and the padding reset. And what we're instead going to do is add the margin or the padding to the content within this. So if you're working with some kind of grid system, you, your grid will probably have margins on the outside. Um, so this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Otherwise, within an accordion, you could add an additional element that had its own margin. So you could either do something like margin on this P, like so. Uh, oops, margin of 20 pixels, sorry. And then you'll have the following. So that won't affect that. So now everything pretty much looks perfect. This is looking really, really nice. Or what you could do is you could have an additional selector, like something like inner, oop, not P, inner. And then you could maybe have, say on this one, let's get rid of this paragraph and let's create a div called inner. And then within this, you could have a paragraph with lorem ipsum and we can create another one in there with lorem ipsum. So you've got an inner div here, which then will mean that this shouldn't be affected. Uh, the reason that's happening is because we've got paragraphs within here with more margin. So if we just get rid of that and keep the default, then you'll see exactly the same effect. Okay. 
and obviously the reason these are going is because we're now not ha we don't have an inner div in there but you could adjust that so let's just put this back to the p solution that's just probably something that would be preferred it really depends on how you are doing this and there we go there's the final result a nice transition effect on our pure css accordion